So whatever you say, whatever your timing, be aware of that. And understand in the context of all of this that timing matters. There is a time for you to speak up, and there is a time for you to be quiet. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. You've all heard this, even if you've only been a fan of folk music in the 60s. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. There is a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. There's a time to scatter stones and there is a time to gather them. There's a time to embrace and there's a time to refrain. Time to search and time to give up. Time to keep and a time to throw away. There's a time to tear, there's a time to mend. Underline this, underline this. And there is a time to be silent. And there is a time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. You've heard all this. There's a time to speak up. There's a time to be quiet. Knowing the difference is important. You know, we do better at knowing when to speak and when to be quiet, when to speak and when to move on, when to speak and when to stop speaking. We do better when we're ordering fast food at a fast food joint than when we're talking to the the people closest to us in our lives. I mean, you think about if you would just apply the same drive-through communication principles that you use ordering fast food to to your friendships and your marriage and your business, you'd have great success. You know how to, you know how you do communication. The timing of it all is very important when you're ordering food, and you're all very aware because you want your food. You pull up to the little box, and, and immediately some bell goes off or something, I guess, and they start, they start talking to you. And, and you, 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 know, you roll your window down, you listen, and they rock, rock. And I always say, what? What? Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's always fascinating to me that the people inside think they know what I want. Would you like a whatever? My guess is the reason they ask if I would like a whatever is because that's what's not selling and they're trying to get me to buy it. So I always say, no! I tell them what I want. Cheeseburger, fries, Diet Coke. Now, is it time now for me to move forward? Is it the right time? No! We all understand drive through communication. The worst thing I could do is drive through before I've gotten them to say back my order. Otherwise, I might have a mistake in my communication process. It's not time for me to just say it and move on. Though in our homes and families, that's what we do. We just say it and move on. Like, okay, I'm sure they got that. What? We don't even do that at the drive-thru. So I say, cheeseburger, fries, and Diet Coke. And they say back what they think I said. Cheeseburger, fries, and a Coke. No, uh, no. Diet Coke. So they say my order back. Diet Coke. And I say, well, no, uh, uh, no uh, cheeseburger, fries, and a Diet Coke. Only when they repeat back what I have said do I have any confidence at all that they heard it. When they say back, cheeseburger, fries, and a Diet Coke, then I have some confidence I can move ahead. Right? I at least have a shot at the right order at that point. Right? And so I drive forward. The timing matters. If I leave the conversation too soon, I mess up. Timing matters. It's really, really important. There's a time to speak, and there's a time to move on ahead. Whatever you say, you want to make sure that you slow down enough so that it's communicated. You can't rush through. Even ordering fast food, you can't rush through, shout your order, and move ahead. You've got to take time to make sure it's right. Slow down. I want to give you this, friends. Great progress could be made in all of our relationships if we would just slow down to a reasonable cruising speed. Have you ever driven down the highway when you're just going 60 and it's great and you're cruising and it's fine and you're kind of relaxed and you're enjoying the ride? Well, you bump that up to 95 and you're hanging on with both hands, everything's shuddering, you're hearing sounds you shouldn't be hearing and you think maybe the wheels are going to come off of this thing. What's the problem? You're just going too fast. Slow down. You don't want the wheels to come off. Slow down. In our relationships with communication, the timing of it matters. We may need to just slow down so communication can happen.